Hey Cancer, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? Yeah, let's take a little peek at the energies for next week coming up February 22nd, 20 to the 26th. So you've already got, you've got already your three cards. They jumped out without me even, even asking. So how about that? So Cancer, looks like you need to focus on unity this week. So whatever's going on, if you've been um, working on anything with people, um, in general, focus on what's unifying you. Focus on unity. Find like-minded people. Feels like, um, yeah, focus, seek out like-minded people. And if you have been asking for some clarity about your relationships, focus on what unifies you, your common bond, your common, um, yeah, your common goals, mission in life, purpose in life. Because there's always going to be things to focus on that divide us as people. But this is a call for you, Cancer, to focus on what unifies you. What, just focusing on unity in general. Um, so yeah, so seek out new, new friends maybe, a new spiritual community. Something that really resonates with you, where you feel like you're part of a group. And the next card you received was the Ace of Earth. So that's an awesome card. It's talking about new opportunities to make money, maybe. A new opportunity for uh, income, schooling, uh, anything that has to do with the earthly realm. Maybe a new house is going to come into your reality. A new new job, new house, new, uh, new education. So something like that. Maybe a promising business venture. That's always fun to see what might work for you, you know, to create some flow. So again, though, do that with the intent of seeking something that is unified with you or that you would collaborate with people who are on the same wavelength, the same frequency, the same mind and heart, heart-centered people, like-minded people. That's where you're going to find uh, your flow. You know what I mean? It's going to be easy. It's going to be a pleasure and a joy to be, whether it's at work or at school or Whatever, whatever it is, even clients, actually, if you're self-employed, this is super uber, uber important to seek out, um, not only seek out clients, but only accept clients that are really unified with your vision. And that seems on the surface, on the surface, it would seem to be like a no brainer. However, cancer, sometimes uh, there may be like a surface commonality. But then once you get to know people and you start really digging into deeper issues, you notice that you guys are like t totally opposite. And so that might not be a good working relationship. So, so somebody out there, if you're, if you're trying to draw in clients, don't be quick to take your client, right? Make sure that they truly resonate with you and your work. That's what I'm feeling that somebody needs to really hear because I know it's easy to jump at clients, especially if you're a new business owner and you, you know, you need some flow. You'll just take everybody, but don't, don't do that because you, it's important that you pick your clients, the flow with you that really resonate with you because then that's going to be a good working relationship with that person or people or groups or companies or whatever, whatever that looks like for you really just do a little bit more homework and make sure that there is, really a unity on multiple layers um so anyway that's a side note for somebody and your last card is the knight of fire and i totally love this card you guys know that i love the knight of fire he comes in hot and fast and he's just riding he's restless he's anxious not anxious in a bad way he's anxious because he's like he's excited he's energetic and he wants to get things going he's super confident he's self-assured uh, could be a little bit mischievous, which is fun. Not to be a bad guy. He he's fun. He's he's good. He's just solid, and he's coming in fiery and hot, and he's exciting. And you know he's gonna bring in a lot of adventure for a second, but then he could be pulling out just as quick. So you know it's like it could be two things. Look for something coming in really fast and exciting for you, but also it's a warning to or an invitation, not a warning invitation to really think things through you know what do you want like especially if you're starting a business or you're whatever you're doing here in this new flow this upper this opportunity for flow not only are you going to be looking for unity 
among your clients and coworkers or whatever that looks like. You're going to make sure you want to make sure that you're thinking things through because it's it's easy to get carried away in the moment. And that's maybe this this fiery night. He's spontaneous. He is super excitable. He's spontaneous and he acts quickly, but he may not think things through all the way before he acts. So maybe this is an invitation for you to think things through as well. Look for things to come in really quick, but also when you get those opportunities, don't be hasty. Think things through just a little bit before you go deeper in it or or, or make that grand gesture. I, I don't know. It just feels like this is a two-sided coin, right? So however that applies to you in your life, just take that as it is. It's like... Yeah, it's okay to be adventuresome and adventurous and excitable, but not at the not at the point where you you don't think things through all the way, and then you're just like, oh, what did I do now? You know, and you find yourself in chaos and a mess that you didn't anticipate because maybe you acted a little too hasty because you were excited. <laughs> and I get it; I do that quite often. So, yeah. Anyway, but it is what it is. We learn everything through our quote-unquote mishaps or failures or whatever. So don't worry. If you act too rashly and you find yourself in a mess, so well, you'll get yourself out of it. It's really, it's okay. That's how we learn. So be be happy, be joyful in all your choices and seek unity. Seek unity with yourself, with your heart, with your purpose, with creator, and seek unity with those around you. And yeah, let, let your bliss lead you in all things. All right, Cancer. I'll talk to you later. Bye.